Okay, so the RC booster, it's been in your pedal board for many years. What was the initial attraction to this pedal and um, how does it complement your tone? Uh, well, first of all, it's really transparent. That's, that's the thing I care about the most. I just want more from the amp, but I don't want color because I want the, the color comes from the guitar and the amp. And the RC booster doesn't really have a sound of its own. It just boosts what's there. And before that existed, I don't think there was anything that I was happy with. So I was using a, a bunch of different things. lots of stuff. Yeah. I was trying to use a tube screamer because that has about the same amount of gain, but it's got a huge mid-range peak, right. which I didn't like, and especially for the treble pickup. And I tried combining that with the Voodoo One. So I'd put the tube screamer uh, into the Voodoo One, and the Voodoo One, being a very scooped pedal, would kind of get rid of the tube screamer's mid-range hump. Right. And that that's what I used mainly on the Well to the Bone album. And because uh, I didn't, there wasn't an RC booster back then. When this came came along, it, I didn't have to use the combination of those two pedals anymore. I could just use one pedal, and I just love the sound of it. Um, it it's killer because it has uh, treble and bass knobs on it, which lets you. I like to take a little bit of the bass out right. so that the chords are you know cleaner and aren't aren't muddy, and uh, that also helps actually with the solos too, with the with the gain. And, so uh, yeah. that, that leads me into my next question, which is a lot of guys, some guys leave the boost on all the time and then add to it, and then some guys use the boost just for solos. What, how do you use this boost? Well, I, I just uh, have it on when I'm using it by itself. In other words, for, uh, uh, for a boosted tone, which is more like a, a blues lead sound, it's on. And then if I want like a, a, a more gainy type of legato horn-like sound, I use another distortion pedal and turn the RC booster off. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't combine pedals because uh, it's a little noisy for me. Right. Yeah, there's a little too much hiss when I combine pedals. The only time I would do it is I would combine the RC booster with my distortion pedal to just get a completely over-the-top nuts, haywire, right. out-of-control yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, and that's just to make noise. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you find that um, with the knobs, you set them like at 12 o'clock, or do, are they the, the gain and the volume and the treble and the bass at different areas? They're different areas, yeah. It just depends on um, the pedal. Like, I, I set the, because the, the new RC booster, the uh, two-channel one is a completely different animal than the first one, you set the two gain knobs so that you get a good lead sound and good clean sound when you switch between channels. Okay. Yeah, so I would set that up a little bit differently. Though the bass and treble knobs are pretty much the same right, on right. both, yeah. So let's talk about the new one. Um, did you have a lot of input on how it was designed, or did you kind of say, hey, um, if I need this if you guys are... Uh... I basically just asked Kiyoshi to make uh, uh, an RC booster with two different gain stages. Right. Because um, normally, as most guys do, uh, that play one-channel amps, you would use your boost pedal on with your guitar up pretty high to, to get a lead sound and then turn the guitar down to play chords. And what I was finding is that the RC booster cleans up really nice when you turn down to play chords more than most boost pedals, mm -hmm. but I was having to turn down my guitar too far to get it clean, right? And by the time I got it completely clean, it was too soft. The, right. the volume yeah. was too soft, and I'd have to turn up my volume my, my master volume ov overall. Mm -hmm. With the new pedal, I can leave my guitar pretty much where it is. I can leave it on around nine for solos, turn it down to about seven or eight for chords, and it's the chord sound is much bigger, much cleaner, uh, there's not as much treble loss, and everything just sounds better. Right, right. Yeah. Now, um, the new pedal, um, you've had a chance to use it. Does it work well with other pedals as well in your in your pedal board? Well, I don't combine pedals, but... but um, it's matched tonally really well to the rest of my pedals as far as treble. I'm able to get the treble and bass of all my pedals in the same range. Right. So that when I hit one pedal as opposed to another one, it doesn't super increase in the brightness or the bass. Right. Except for the Fuzz Factory. Right. You know, the Fuzz Factory just has a ton of bass. So as soon as you turn it on, it's like all this low end. But that's just the nature of that pedal. And uh, I guess I was thinking about it, and, and maybe your philosophy is you kind of pummel the front end of the amp, yeah, and that kind of keeps preserves the amp's tone. A lot of people ask me, you know, if you want a cleaner tone, why don't you just turn off the pedal? Right. Well, 
the reason is because uh, to really use a pedal, I think, um, like the RC Booster, the volume needs to be all the way up. It really needs to kick the front end of the preamp of the amp. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, so with, if you're doing that and then you turn the pedal off, you've got nothing. Right. The difference between volume is just huge. So I understand now, like, so, so you pummel it, but then you, you uh, cut back on your volume and that can kind of mm -hmm. clean up your tone a little bit. Yeah. And I've got a volume in the effects loop of the amp, okay. vol uh, one of those SVC mm -hmm. pedals. Yeah. So I'm using the SVC pedal in the effects loop to control my master volume without affecting the gain. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using the guitar to, to set the gain, how much or how little gain there is. Mm -hmm. So I've got like two controls, on the guitar for the gain and on the floor for the vo overall volume. Overall. And I like that because, you know, the music we're playing is pretty dynamic. Right. So there's a lot of times I have to play with a pretty overdriven tone, but not a really loud volume. Gotcha. So I can turn my guitar up and then turn the, turn the volume down. Or if I want a super clean, loud, clean sound, I'll just jack the volume all the way up on the floor and turn my guitar down and get a really super clean sound. Or I can even turn the pedal off completely if I want a very, very clean guitar sound. Like sometimes I use multi-tap delays to make that kind of a Holsworth yeah, um, type of swells, yeah. you know. And that sound actually sounds better with that. no pedal at all. Exactly, just yeah. completely clean. And that I can just jack the volume on the floor all the way up for that sound. Um, as far as like what kind of amps you think this pedal is going to work well with? Would you say like mostly a clean amp, or a Fender-y style, or, a, um, or any type of Well, amp? any amp, really, but it needs to be set a little bit crunchy. Okay. Um, pedals don't sound very good when the amp is completely clean, right. but they, it sounds a little thin. You need the amp tubes to be working a little bit, you know, to, it, 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 it's really like a, probably about 25% from the amp and 75% from the pedal. Mm -hmm. You know, if the amp is completely clean, then it just doesn't feel right. You know, the amp's not working hard enough. Mm -hmm. You know, so if the amp's crunchy and let the pedal do the rest, that seems to be the fattest sound to me. Great.